Caving is an adventure sport which entails the exploration of wild cave systems, potholes and abandoned mines. It involves a number of physical challenges including climbs and pitches, squeezes and water hazards. This short video follows a group of cavers underground. For two of them it is their first ever underground adventure. It is aimed at potential cavers to show them what to expect on a novice caving trip. Right, here we are today at uh, Ogof Fun and the Cave of the Black Spring and today we've got some newbies with us, people who've never been caving before and want to find out what it's all about. Okay Rob, you've never been caving before, this is your first time ever caving, why do you want to do it? Um, something to do, it's a bit of a thrill I suppose and the danger of it. Because... Oh. And what do you think it's going to be like? It'll be like a walk in the park. But... Okay Tony, this is your first time caving ever? Yeah, I've always fancied doing it so give it a go and see how we get on with it. Ogofunumbi is a complex three-dimensional labyrinth containing over 25 miles of cave passage. The route today is a figure of eight course in the OFD2 part of the system. After an easy walk along the entrance passage, passing some amazing stalactites and stalagmites, the first obstacle is a scramble over a jumble of fallen boulders in the brickyard, en route to Known Passage. This large boulder strewn slope leads deeper into the cave and the next challenge, a squeeze through boulders to enter a passage lower down. This in turn leads to the next challenge, a hands and knees crawl through a low tunnel called a phreatic tube. Just to make it a little more interesting, halfway along there is a deep hole in the floor. However, this provided a greater danger for the cameraman than for the novice cavers. After a short excursion to the nave and Swamp Creek to view the formations, the party headed past two incredible formations. This stalagmite is called the Judge. And this three-pronged stalactite the trident. It was now time to see if the newbies were going to make the grade as cavers and give them a really committing test. 
we selected this extremely tight squeeze down into Lugubrious Streamway. They all passed with flying colours, although climbing back up was a little more difficult. Then it was time to send them off to explore the maze of passages around Shatterpillar. Selenite Tunnel, the most stunningly decorated passage on the trip, leads from Shatter Pillar to President's Leap, where this narrow ledge has to be traversed at height. It appears that none of them suffer from vertigo. The next squeeze was lapped up by all, along with the traverses in Salubria Streamway. We were running out of ways of testing the novice cave as metal, but had just one more challenge left up our sleeves, a traverse across the top of the 80 foot deep erect chamber. No problem.
After a few more traverses, we were at Big Chamber near the entrance, where after surviving the whole trip unscathed, a simple stumble provided embarrassment for one of the members of the group. OK, Rob, you've been caving. Just what do you reckon? I reckon it was pretty good. I quite enjoyed it. Can't fault it at all. Be going again? Definitely, mate. 100%. So, Mel, what was your favourite bit? <laughs> oh, my favourite bit would definitely have to be those high traverse bits. They I were pretty, loved them. pretty good, weren't they? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome I stuff. I could tell the way you were giggling <laughs> that you really enjoyed them. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to do them again.